Hello everyone and welcome to the Streaming Theatre where we curate, live edit and live stream play readings, theatrical works, gigs and other creative projects. My name's Kevin Kemp, I'm the founder of the Streaming Theatre and tonight we have Devon O'Brien with his art-themed quiz night. I am very excited. Um, we would love to hear from you guys as always during the quiz. Um, if you need any questions repeating, uh, or if you just want to say hi and cheer Devon on through the show, uh, then throw it in the live chat. Um, if you can't see the live chat, you might be watching on uh, the Streaming Theatre website. So just click on the button that says watch live on Twitch. Um, and you do need to be a member of Twitch to, to write on the live chat. But it's a super fun platform. There's loads of things going on. So just come and join us. It'll be great. Um, and also, if you can support the stream tonight, that would be amazing. Um, any donation would be great. Uh, just think of it as like a little tip that you might give to staff if you're on a night out or something like that. Um, we will, of course, be sharing tips tonight with Devon. So if you're enjoying the show, um, you can throw him a little bit of love uh, via the donation box. Um, you just click on the donation button below uh, and you choose quiz night. Um, if you don't see the button, you can just go on the streamingtheatre.com um, and you'll see the button there. Um, OK, so do you all have your thinking caps on? Are you ready? to see who will emerge the kings and queens of Knowledge Kingdom. Then it's time to bring on Devon O'Brien. Give him a big round of applause. Let me uh, find his microphone as well. Uh, <laughs> hi, Devon. How's it going? Hey, I'm great, Kevin. How are you? I'm super good. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. It's like uh, so lovely. You know, we worked together. Gosh, when did we work together? Uh, it was a few years ago, right? Yeah, 2015 or 2016, one of the two. Yeah, and that was uh, Luna Gale for Aurora, wasn't it? Um, yes. And uh, so I'm just so excited to be working with you on a project again and having you in. So I'm going to hand it all over to you now. Um, I'll still be here in the stream, guys, uh, jumping in. I'm going to be engineering tonight. So if Devin needs anything, I'll be throwing things up. And I might just pop in and say hello as well if he wants to talk to me. But now over to Devin O'Brien with the quiz night. Have fun, Devin. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. And thanks to all of you for being here. Uh, we have some trivia tonight. As you well know, a quiz night. Uh, we're going to be live streaming it on Twitch this entire time for all three rounds. OK, and uh, it's going to work in a way where we're going to have you pull up uh, the rounds on a website and you can submit your answers there. We're going to get that started in just a minute and we'll be sending out the link once again in the chat for folks that haven't clicked on it yet. But like I said, just three rounds tonight is going to be 45 minutes or less, which is really what you want on a Friday night, right? Some quick trivia and then you move on. Um, for those of you who are in the chat, I see some people chatting, which is wonderful. If you have a drink in hand, uh, let us know what you're drinking. We're going to wait uh, just a minute to see if anybody else is popping in. So let us know what you're drinking. Also, if you have any fun trivia questions of your own, drop that in the chat. And uh, would love to see what you're drinking and what you think the best trivia question is that you know off the top of your head. Um, all right, so like I said, the, the link just showed up in the chat. Once again, that is bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night. Uh, you can take that link and you can drop it into your browser on a second device, or if you're on a laptop, you can do it on your laptop. And that's where all of the rounds are gonna be appearing where you can submit your answers. If you don't feel like dealing with that, that's totally fine. You can play along on a pen and paper, or even if you in your head, if you like, and uh, we'll tell you the answers as we go. We won't be able to see your score or tell you how you stack up against everybody else, but you'll know, and that's really the most important part, right? Uh, for those of you who are here who have played with me before in Zoom trivia, uh, this is a little bit different, just so you know, I'm going to be streaming on camera, but obviously you're not. So the good news is, you know, none of you are on camera. However, if you're playing with somebody in a different location, just make sure you have them on a phone or a Zoom chat separately, right? All that stuff. Uh, seeing some great comments in the chat. Thank you, G. Cooper and Surfboard. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Um, all right. So like I mentioned, that link in the chat, go ahead and pull that up right now, bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a moment. And I'm going to be explaining each round as we go. Um, so what you're going to pull up when you get that link is a home page uh, with no links live on it yet. But as soon as I finish explaining the first round, I'm going to update that home page. You can refresh the home page, and then you'll have a link available there for you to click on. OK, so you click on that link. You have a round there for you to play. I'll be talking you through it the whole time, asking each question one at a time. It'll be great fun. Uh, LJ is here drinking a lovely 2015 Bordeaux. Great, I am jealous. And Surfboard is drinking a margarita. She says I'm looking good, and I thank you, Lisa and Mike. I always think I'm looking good. All right, I think that's enough chitter chatter, right? We should get on to the game. So again, if you haven't yet, click on that link, bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, round one, are you ready for round one, Kevin? 
I am. I turned my mic off, but I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to play along as well, and I'll leave my mic on now so I can talk to you. Um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I need a buddy up here. Uh, <laughs> so round one is going to be a music round, okay? And before I get into explaining all of how it's going to work, just know uh, we have three rounds tonight. In this first round, I'm going to give you one extra task. Along with identifying all these songs that I'm about to give you, I need you to come up with a team name to represent yourself over the course of the game. Uh, please make sure that your team name is appropriate because I have to say it out loud over and over and over again. And the other request that I have is that you please spell your team name the same way all night long. You're going to be putting your team name at the top of every single round that you submit, and I'm going to be using it to track your score. So if you spell it differently, it messes up my whole system. So just make sure whatever you spell for your team name, you spell it the same way. Other than that, have fun. Uh, make it good. Make it punny. Make it whatever you want. All right. So your team name, you got that. You know you're doing a music round. Let me explain how it works. Uh, I do music rounds a little bit differently. If you play music rounds with me before you know i'm about to give you 10 famous songs okay i'm going to give you the chorus to those songs and i promise you you've probably heard almost all these songs if not all of them they're they're well-known songs but what i'm giving you is a little bit different i've taken the chorus and i've translated that chorus on google translate from english to latin to yiddish to greek to japanese and then back to english again i take the chorus i put it in google translate and i translate the chorus from english to latin to Yiddish, to Greek, to Japanese, and then finally back to English. And then that's what I give you, okay? So I'll give you the chorus and see if you can recognize it, okay? So your job is to guess the song name. I don't want the artist. Like, please don't put the artist name in when you answer, just put in the song. You might even mess up my grading if you put in too many artist names. So just put in the song, just guess the name of that song. If you get it right, it's one point each. So there's 10 points available in this round. We got some people who are excited for it. Excellent, I'm glad to see that. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is publish that link. Give me a second for that. All right, that link is published. So right now what you can do is go ahead and refresh that page, bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night. So refresh that homepage that I had you pull up in the Twitch chat. And if you haven't pulled it up yet, go there now, bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night. And uh, you should now be able to click on round one, okay? I'm gonna be walking through these questions one at a time. So just follow along with me and answer as you go. Uh, again, make sure you have that link pulled up. And Bob and Dan are here drinking a Pinot 2018. Excellent, keep the drink recommendations rolling in if you have them. If you have a cocktail re recipe, I need some of those too. I don't have a 2018 Pinot on me, so I'm gonna need some cocktails after this. All right, Kevin, I think we can go ahead and dive right in to question number one, if you're so good excited. with that. So excited, so right? excited. All right, so uh, I can't even see myself, but I'm gonna assume that question number one is on the screen. And here's the lyrics that you're trying to identify. You can dance, you can play, now you have in your life, really see the girls, see the stage, fode on the dance star, okay? Take that as you will. You are looking for the song that that is the chorus of. Again, it's been translated a million different ways, but what is that song? Again, it is, you can dance, you can play. Now you have in your life, really see the girls, see the stage, fode on the dance star. Excellent. All right, that's done. Number one, you've got it. We'll come back to it in a minute. I'll read them again, nothing to worry about. But for now, we're gonna move on to number two. Kevin's gonna put that right up on the screen. And it says, it's better to get lost in music, but now I'll give it to you, leave it to you. You'll get one shot, don't miss them. When you have the ability to hit, opportunity is once in your life. True words never spoken. Once again, <laughs> it is, it's better to get lost in music, but now I'll give it to you, leave it to you. You will get one shot. Don't miss them when you have the ability to hit. Opportunity is once in your life. Okay, so that was number two. Again, we have 10 of these coming your way. We're gonna go through all of them again. So not to worry, if you wanna get a second chance to look at it, you'll have that opportunity. Right now, what we're gonna do is move on to number three. Here we go, number three. Welcome to the forest. We are enjoying the game. We have the honey you want. We know the name. We are the ones who will find what you need. If you have money, we have your honey disease, right? That's a fun one, cheerful. Welcome to the forest. We are enjoying the game. We have the honey you want, we know the name. We are the ones who will find what you need. If you have money, we have your honey disease. Tell us what song that is. Again, you are just looking for the song title. You are not looking for the artist. You put that song title in the form that is on your website. And when we get through all 10 questions, you're gonna hit submit. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. That's how easy we made it for you. Number three is done. We're moving on to number four. Number four. This one says, I tried to update. He said, no, no, no. That's how I was black. But when you come back, you will learn to know no time at all. And if I dad, I'm trying to renew. 
Me neither. Again, I tried to update and he said, no, 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 that's how I was black. But when you came back, you will learn to know no time at all. And if I, dad, I'm trying to renew, me neither. Okay, there's number four. You've heard it twice. I'll give you another second with it. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to number five. I know we're moving a little bit quickly. We're gonna give you a little time at the end to look at them all again, and then we'll move on. Okay, number five, here we go. It's up on the screen. Did you get out from the bottom? Where are men and women and pray? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear the main? We are running more and more to cover. Okay, this one's dark, maybe a little scary. I don't know exactly what's happening, but we're gonna read it again all the same. Did you get out from the bottom? Where are men and women and pray? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear the name? We are running more and more to cover. Number five. Okay, you've heard it, you've heard it twice. We're going on to number six. Here it is. He called me on my phone, then late at night, if necessary, call mobile. Then late at night, if necessary, telephone line. Not only this, ends on a cliffhanger, doesn't it? But we're gonna read it all again. He called me on my phone, then late at night, if necessary, call mobile. Then late at night, if necessary, telephone line. Not only this. There was number six, you've heard it twice. On to number seven. Protect me nearby, little mover. Measuring headlights on the road, lying on paper, the property was daily. The property was daily. One more time, that is, protect me nearby, little mover. Measuring headlights on the road, lying on paper, the property was daily. Okay, seven down. We only have three to go. All right, we're getting close. And like I said, we're going to run through all of them again. Here is number eight. Number eight. <clears throat> I'm not pulling. There is nothing you can do for more than 100 people. Bless Africa in the rain. We will take some time to do things that were never done before and never will be. Now, this one has a hint of optimism, I would say. Let's do it one more time. I'm not pulling. There is nothing you can do for more than 100 people. Bless Africa in the rain. We will take some time to do things that were never done before and never will be. I personally am inspired by that. Number eight. In the books, we're moving on to number nine. <clears throat> Kills me in my loneliness. I have to admit that I suppose I am. However, to get rid of me to my heart where I am with thee, give me a sign, hit me child when. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Let's just take it one more time and we'll take it slow. <sighs> Kills me in my loneliness. I have to admit that I suppose I am, however, to get rid of me, to my heart, where I am with thee, give me a sign, hit me child when. That was number nine. All right, this is our last one. I know we breezed through these. We're gonna have a minute with all of them, but no, last one now, number 10, here it is. We are young and reckless, but on this road too far, it makes you breathe or a bad scar. It comes out of a long list of lovers. And I tell you, I'm angry. However, I am an empty child then write your name. One more time. We are young and reckless, but on this road too far, it makes you breathe or a bad scar. It came out of a long list of lovers, and I tell you, I'm angry. However, I am an empty child, then write your name. All right, I said a lot of words in the last couple minutes, and not a heck of a lot of them made sense. I know that, you know that, but I'm trusting you to interpret these as best you can. Again, all of these have been translated through a million languages, but I bet there's some in here that you already recognize. We're gonna take a couple more minutes to let you recognize everything you can. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do now, Kevin, if you're good with it, is play a little mute, give these folks a couple minutes, and if also we can just put each chorus on the screen every couple seconds, let them loop, let them see it again. And we'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'll give you a little warning before you have to submit your answers. And then I'll give you the answers and we'll move on to round two. So that's it. We're going to play some music and we're going to submit these rounds over the next couple minutes. I think this cool. is very useful because my, my wife, Kristen, just texted me and said, it's so fast, I can't keep up. So we, we, we've we definitely got to give them, uh, <laughs> give them this song to have a look at those lyrics again. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, take your time, folks. We're going we're gonna to give you that time you need. All right, I think I've uh, I think I've got some silly music to play, Devin. How does that sound? Shall we go? For I would that? love it. Yeah, I could stretch my legs and dance a little. All right, oh that sounds fun. Here we go.
How long would you like on each lyric, Devin? What do you think? Let's give him another, like, three minutes, maybe? Cool, I'll try and space it out. I wonder if everybody's bored with this song yet, Devin. I don't know, but they will be. we do it again, Kevin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. So that is number 10 up on the screen right now. If anybody wants to put in the <laughs> in the chat, uh, if they want any of those lyrics coming up, uh, just put it in the chat and I will make sure to go back to that lyric. Just uh, say what number you're missing. Quest for number six. Let's go back to number six. Number six is up now. And a request for number five. Number five coming up next. That's probably enough of that music, Devin, isn't it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So let's go ahead and take another couple of seconds, uh, but then just submit your answers wherever you're at. I know that's a tough round. I know there's a lot going on there, uh, but go ahead and submit where you're at and we'll see how you stack up. Uh, again, if you're just playing at home, that's totally fine. But if you are playing on a Google form, uh, make sure you hit submit in the next couple of seconds so we can get you all graded. Uh, we have a couple other drinks in the chat. We have Helmet Head with a banquet beer, lovely. We have Lisa with a vodka tonic and lime. We got a, some folks with a Chianti, and we've got Board Dog drinking rum out of the bottle. Good luck to you, sir. All right, answers are pouring in, which is excellent. Uh, Lisa, if you don't see a submit button, go ahead and scroll down a little bit further. Uh, you should be able to see it. Um, sorry if it's not working for you, but I think if you just scroll down, it'll be there at the bottom. Um, all right, yeah, again, I see answers pouring in, which is great to see. Got a lot of good ones here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, and you all did well. You did way better than you might think you did. There's some really good ones here. All right, folks, last call for answers, and then we're gonna be going over them. All right, 
Kevin, if you don't mind one more time, just go ahead and put up the uh, number one on the screen and I'll run through it and give you the answer. Sure. I'm gonna do that pretty quickly and then we'll move right on to round number two. And Great. Number one is up for you, Devin. Excellent. So, number one. Still seeing answers come in. Hit submit if you haven't yet. Number one, you can dance, you can play. This one here is Dancing Queen by ABBA. Dancing Queen by ABBA is what that one is. Number two, number two, this one starts with, it's better to get lost in music, but now I'll give it to you. This is Lose Yourself in the Music, The Moment by Eminem. All right? This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo. Number three, number three, Welcome to the Forest, or should I say, Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle by Guns and Roses. Number four. Devin, I haven't got any of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You know, you are maybe alone there. Everybody's gotten at least a few, and some folks wow. even got eight, nine, seven. I'm going to get you all the final scores in a couple minutes as I have them, but just glancing at what I see here, you all did quite well. All right, number four. I tried to update, and he said, no, no, no. Uh, by that, I mean to say they tried to make me go to rehab, and I said, no, no, no. That is by Amy Winehouse, rehab. Number five now, number five. Did you get out from the bottom? Because I come from the land down under. That is the land down under by men at work. Cool. It's a really dark sounding in all those translations, but really, you know, it's such a fun, upbeat song. Number six, you might have gotten this one if you listen to music these days. This one is, he called me on my phone. That is Hotline Bling by Drake. They try to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. All right, number seven, protect me nearby, little mover. Or you might say, hold me closer, Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Tiny Dancer by Elton John. There you go. Number eight. I'm not pulling. There's nothing you can do for more than 100 people. This is Africa by Toto, the 80s classic. Number nine, kill me in my loneliness. I have to admit that I suppose I am. This is a lot of words for Britney Spears. This is hit me, baby, one more time. There you go. Number 10, we are young and reckless, but if you skip to the bottom, you would notice, uh, then write your name. That is Blank Space by Taylor Swift blank space by Taylor Swift. So there you go. Those are all 10 answers. Again, I don't have the scores just yet. I got to run through what I've got here. I'll get them to you in a minute or two. Uh, but what we're going to do in the meantime is move on to round two. So what's happening now is I am publishing a new version of the homepage. So if you go back to that homepage that you've been on, of the website you've been on, you know, where it says quiz night with streaming theater, if, if you've lost it, just go back to bit.ly bit slash 2020 quiz night. And round two is now a live link. Just to explain how this works, we're about to flash up 10 pictures on the screen. They will be famous actors and they will be performing in Shakespeare roles, okay? So your job here is twofold in this round. First, you have to name the actor and then you have to name the role. Okay, what role were they playing? I gave you the 10 possible roles in a dropdown. So that's easy, right? You have all 10 roles. You just have to match them to the picture. Uh, but you do have to name the actor on your own. So there's going to be, if, you, if you're following along, you can tell 20 questions in this round. Uh, again, one for each actor and one for each role that these actors are playing. So follow along as best you can. Again, round two is live on the homepage. So if you can't find that, go back to bit.ly slash 2020 quiz night or click the link down here in the description. Round two is a live link that you should be able to click on Great. All right. So with that all said, I think we can go ahead and dive right in to round number two. I'm going to go ahead and scoop myself a little bit over to the left. Is this the direction, other Kevin? Way, or did I go way, the wrong way? Wrong way. <laughs> Always been directionally challenged. How's this, Kevin? Let's find out. Let me uh, throw you up that first image and, right, uh, here and we can see. Here we go. One. Yeah, a little more to your right, Devin, and then uh, there you go. Excellent. Great. Perfect. All right, just like weekend update, except clunkier. Okay, so number one is up on the screen. You can see that fellow there. Do you recognize him? And do you know what role he's playing? Take a minute to look. We'll take this one with some deep breaths. Do you recognize the actor? And do you know what role he's playing? Again, if you haven't yet, go to round two on the homepage, bit.ly slash 2020quiznight. And the form should be there for you to enter that actor's name and also select the role that he's playing. I would venture that he looks pretty familiar. 
if I may say so myself. If you can't place his name, just think on it for another minute. And again, you're aiming for his name and his role. What would a fellow like this play in the Shakespeare canon? Do you know this one, Kevin? Obviously, don't tell us the answer. I think I'm rubbish at quizzes. This is what I'm discovering uh, <laughs> in this moment of my life. <laughs> Great. Well, we're all learning things tonight. Oh, I just put the music lyrics up by mistake. There we go. We're back with you now, Devin. Okay, great. And we've always got your uh, second camera, by the way, as well. If ever you want to give us a cheeky little uh, wig. Yeah. yeah, take a look. Oh, yeah. there he is. Look out. Yeah. <laughs> and then the fun thing I can do is swing right back to the other camera. Hey, <laughs> good to see you again. All right, let's move on to number two. Let's flash that picture up on the screen. All right. Board Dog says in the chat, if every other picture is of Devin in makeup, I'm down. Maybe picture number one looked a little bit likely, like me. That might be true, but I can tell you it, it isn't me. Uh, number two uh, is also not me, but see if you can figure out who it is. Who is that? And what role might they be playing in Shakespeare? Ooh, I know this fella. I can tell you that. I'm excited to see if you do too. All right, take a minute with this one. Again, we're trying to figure out who this is. We need his name and we need the role that he would play in Shakespeare. All right, time is winding down before we move on to number three. Let's do it, Kevin, what do you think? Oh, he's there. Number, number three. three is up on the screen. Hmm, that's an interesting looking guy. All right. I think I have my answer here. I'm curious if other folks do too. This is one of the trickier ones, I must say. Let us know in the chat how you're doing so far. Do you know these folks? Is this obvious to you or is this pretty tough? Again, we're looking for who the actor is and what role they might be playing in this moment. Again, you'll have a drop down on your, on your quiz. So you should be able to see which actors you could be selecting. Hmm. That mustache is something. Oh, it's beautiful. It's impressive. <laughs> All right, take another couple seconds with this one. Lisa says it's very hard. I agree. I agree. But I believe in you. Like I said, you did better than you think on the music round. So let's see how you're doing with this one. All right, all right. Let's move on to number four. Number four. Who is that? And we're looking specifically for the woman on the screen. I don't mind either of the guys in the forefront or the background. We're looking for the name of that woman and what role she might be playing. Would you like me to bring that one up a bit a uh, bit bigger, Devin? Just so... If possible. That's great. Yeah, yeah sure. Cool. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, take a second with this one. See if you can figure out who that is. I'm going to be grading in the background for a second. So pardon the silence. And in the live chat, if anybody needs uh, any of these images to come up in that uh, bigger frame, just let me know in the live chat and I'll bring that up for you. All right, let's move on to picture number five. Cool. All right. He looks playful. Some colors in that costume. See if you recognize who this is. Again, all of these are names that I think you've heard before, even if you don't quite recognize them. And we're wondering what actor they might play, what character, excuse me, this actor might play in Shakespeare. And, you know, the great part is you have all the options right there for you on the Google form. So look it over. See what you think. This one seems to come from a real classic stage. I wonder if that's the old globe or something like it. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is. Hi, everyone, says Leah. Good to see you. Glad to have you with us. Leah, if you're just joining, we uh, Leah just joined in the chat and said, hi, everyone. Uh, we're going to be playing along at bit.ly slash 2020. So if you go there and look at round two, that's what we're on now. That's where you can submit your answers. Let me throw that link in the live chat for you there, Devin. Great. There we go. All right. Let's move on to number six. All 
All right, who is this? We're looking again for the actor and what role they might be playing. So who would that be? Who would that be? The lighting is striking in this picture, I must say, mm -hmm. as is the woman. She's quite the actress, I'll tell you that. I am honestly a fan of all of these actors. I happen to know their names. All right. All right, all right, all right. Take another couple seconds of this one before we move on to number seven. Again, we're looking for who this actor is, just their name, and select from the drop down on the next question below that. What role would they play in one of Shakespeare's classics? This is truly taken from when they played that role. So maybe you've heard of them playing that role, or maybe you can just place, yeah, you know, I think I know who that looks like. That looks like a blank. All right, let's move on to number seven. Hmm. Wow. I can tell you that that hair is not from the year 2020, nor is that picture. So think for a minute about who that might be. Should we bring this one up in the bigger frame as well? Just so people. Can yeah, may as well, right? Uh, all right. Here we go. All right. So, yeah, who is that? Who would he play? I'll tell you, I'd watch that guy play anything, mm. but we're looking for who he would play in this particular picture. <laughs> all right, again, take another couple seconds. We'll move on to number eight. There are going to be 10 of these once again. So we're getting close to the end now. All right, let's move on to number eight. Hmm. Okay. You might recognize her right away. You might not. Stick with it. Can you use an answer twice, asked Harry and Joe. That's a great question. Uh, the answer is no. Every actor is playing a different role playing a different role so make sure that you use each role once i have no extra roles and i don't duplicate roles so use each role just once again looking for who this might be and who she might be playing in this picture harry and joe says darn and i am so sorry to disappoint you harry but them is the rules of the game or maybe that's joe i don't really know who's talking to me does spelling count Ask Miss LJ. Uh, no, it does not. It does not. As long as you're close enough, you know, I should be able to tell who it is you're talking about. If you haven't told us yet, let us know what you're drinking in the chat. I'm about ready for a drink myself, mm -hmm. but we got one more time to go after this. All right, let's move on to number nine. Hmm. He looks crotchety, I might say. Grumpy, even. Who is it, though, is really the question, and, and who would they be playing? Who would they be playing? Again, we're getting close to the end now, so you should be able to look up and see what roles have you not used yet? Who can you slot in for this fella here? Mm. Who would he play? Juliet, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't mean to give anything away, but mm. all right, let's uh, let's go on to number ten. Again, this is going to be the last one of the round. We're looking for this actor's name and what role he would play in a Shakespeare. Lizard has a cup of tea. That sounds nice. What a nice way to end the week. All right, again, this is the last one. Just looking for this last actor's name and what role he would be playing right about here. This one's from a movie, if you can't tell. He's not on an outdoor stage or anything like it. Kappa, speak in my language. <laughs> All right. Take another couple seconds. And then uh, what I actually have for you now is uh, the scores from the first round. Mm -hmm. And then, Kevin, maybe what we can do is take another minute and just run through each of these pictures for maybe 10 seconds each or so. And play that lovely music of yours. That sounds lovely. Do, it, do people in the live chat want that music? I think you want that music. Kevin, I can tell you, I'm not sure if I care what the people in the chat want or not. I know <laughs> that I want that music. 
You're you, the boss. You're the boss, you David. If you need. All right. Uh, here's a score update after one round. We have. Oh no, I did it wrong. Hold on. I'm about to give you a score update. Sort range. Oh, Sorry about that. All right. We have one point for B team. Four points for the Schoenfields, five points for Bob and LJ. Love Kevin and Dean. Thank you. What a team name. Best of every team. <laughs> Six points for Garth Brooks Fan Club. Glad to have you with us. Seven points each for third place and poolside. Eight points each tied for third place is Micro Lizard and Goat Cheese Omelette. And nine points in second place for Muting is Hard. Oh, excuse me. The <laughs> winning team right now is my test from earlier. So Muting is Hard, you're in first place with nine. Micro Lizard, you're in second place with eight. And go cheese omelet, you are tied for them, second place with eight points. So that is your standings. That's where you stand. Uh, I'll get you the score update on this next round as soon as I have it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and run through these pictures one more time with a little bit of that lovely music. All right, let me find that for you. Everybody ready for the music? Here we go. And then I'll bring up those pictures. Here we go. I think that might be good enough, Kevin. We don't need to play it. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. Somebody uh, found me out, though, that I'm uh, I'm just sitting here playing it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were a man of many talents. All right. Let's go ahead. And if you haven't yet, hit submit. It takes a couple seconds to do so. We do have some updates from the chat, which I really much appreciate. Uh, Leah's loving the music, which is great. Harry and Joe would like me to sing for all of you, which will not be happening. Appreciate the request. Maybe if you tip enough, which brings me to my point. We do have a tip jar, which you can access uh, down below this Twitch profile. It's a little PayPal account. Uh, leave us a tip. Half of it goes to the streaming theater and half of it goes to me. Much appreciated if you would be so inclined. Uh, we got the Schoenfields having margaritas, whiskey, sour, beer, pinot, cheeseburgers, and salad. Are you kidding me? Man. I don't have anything going on over here. And Helmet Head wants to know who's grading these answers. It is me. And I got a little help from Ashley Nelson in the back. Thanks, Ashley. All right, we got uh, a couple other requests to sing. Not happening, though. Lizard would like to see seven once more. We can flash that up maybe really quickly, Kevin. Is that all right? Sure. Great. We're going to have that up for just a couple seconds. And then that's going to be the last thing you see before you have to hit submit on all of these. Uh, yeah, so make sure you're doing so soon. And just let me know if anybody needs any other numbers coming up. All right. Yep, I'm getting some answers pouring in, which I much appreciate. I don't think we have any more requests. So let's go ahead and hit submit if you haven't yet. And we're going to be moving on to round number two. It'll take me a minute to get that all that all scored up. So... Uh, there we go. I see some more coming in. Much appreciated. What we're going to do in the meantime is move on to round three. I'll get you a score update as I have it. All right. Uh, round number three. This is going to be our final round of the evening. It's been such a pleasure hanging out with you. I so appreciate it. Uh, this is round three, the final round. So what we're going to go ahead and do is double the points on this round. Everything is worth two. Okay. Why not? Let's do it big and then let's go home. Uh, I'm doing that because I know we've had a couple tough rounds already, but this one might be even tougher. So bear with me. 
uh, appreciate this round for what it is, which is a chance to learn something, if nothing else. What's going to happen here is I'm going to read you a joke. Uh, you match it to the stand-up comedian who told that joke, okay? You're going to have a list to choose from. So I'm going to give you the list of comedians, and you're going to tell me who it is, all right? So I went ahead and explained that round, but what I'm actually going to do now is, is back up and give you the answers to round number two. I think we now have just about everybody, which is perfect. If you have not hit submit yet on round number two, please do so now. In the meantime, we're going to back up and go over the answers to round number two. Kevin, if you don't mind pulling up picture number one. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's All right, this your is... face a little bit. Oh, excuse me. I, I moved to the center. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> How's this? All right, we're up. We're good. All right. This is Mr. Daniel Day-Lewis portraying Hamlet himself. Great. Number two. Number two should now be up on the screen. This is Lawrence Fishburne from Othello playing Othello. There you go. Number three now on the screen. This one is, you could maybe call it a trick question, but I stand by it. This is Kenneth Branagh playing Shakespeare himself. Mr. William Shakespeare is who he's portraying in a movie. All right, number four. This is Lupita Nyong'o playing Katharina from Taming of the Shrew. I believe this picture actually comes from her time at Yale. So we're digging way back for that one, but I thought it was a fun one. Number five, this is Mark Rylance playing Iago. Iago. A little devious. Again, it's a beautiful picture. I wonder where it comes from. Number six, Judy Dench playing Lady Macbeth. A long time ago. Number seven. Number seven is Denzel Washington, of course, playing Richard the Third. Richard the Third. Number eight is Kate Winslet playing Ophelia from Hamlet. Number nine, you know this guy. It's Anthony Hopkins playing King Lear. King Lear. He's losing his mind a little bit in this picture, I think. Number 10, Tom Hiddleston playing Henry V. King Henry V. So there you go. Those are all of your answers. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and move on to round number three. Like I said, it's stand-up comedy. I'm going to give you a bunch of jokes. It's your job to figure out who told those jokes. Uh, but to do that, of course, you're going to need to have the form ready to go to hit submit on. So it's publishing right now. It's published. What you can do now is go back to that homepage of the website you've been on this whole time, bit.ly slash 2020quiznight. Pull that up. Round three is available to click on. And again, what's going to happen is I'm going to read a joke. Uh, I'm going to ask you who told that joke. Uh, and you have to guess. You do have a drop down, a list of options to choose from. So over the course of the round, you might be able to figure out Ooh, you know, that joke sounds like so-and-so, or that joke sounds like so-and-so. Uh, what we're going to do first is put up the list of comedians themselves. Kevin, if you don't mind flashing up that picture. You're there. So we have Tig Notaro, Zach Galifianakis, Mitch Hedberg, George Carlin, Ricky Gervais, Dave Chappelle, Bo Burnham, Hannibal Burris, Sarah Silverman, and Jerry Seinfeld. Those are the comedians who told the 10 jokes you're about to hear. The question is, who told which ones? Let's go right into it with number one. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. That's the first joke. Grandma LJ says, can't get the form for number three. Sorry about that, LJ. Let me check on the website. Just hit refresh if that's a problem. And let me know in the chat if, if anybody else has round number three working for them. Let me know if it's good or if there's some glitch going on. I seem to be able to access it. I've had a little go and it seems to be all right. Sorry, LJ. So yeah, if you just go back to the home page maybe and, and click on round three again, you should be able to get it. All right, G. Cooper says he's all good there. So again, that joke, number one, I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 or something. Do we have the sound effect, Kevin? Oh, I was, doing a, I was gonna do a like, wasn't I? You can do it for me, ready? Okay. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 or something. But um, nailed it. Who needs technology when you have heaven? All right, number two, we're gonna move on to number two. Here's the joke. They got a character on there named Oscar. They treat this guy like the entire show. 
They judge him right in his face. Oscar, you are so mean. Isn't he kids? Yeah, Oscar, you're a grouch. It's like, blank, I live in a trash can. But um Thank you, Kevin. Welcome. I'm thinking of going into stand up. Not really, but maybe. Let me know up in the chat if you think I should. All right. Number two, one more time. They got a character on there named Oscar. They treat this guy like the entire show. They judge him right in his face. Oscar, you are so mean. Isn't he kids? Yeah, Oscar, you're a grouch. It's like, I live in a trash can. That's Oscar at the end saying that. You, you don't get the joke if it, you know, you gotta understand that part and then it all kind of comes together. It's great joke, very well told, both by the original comedian and yours truly. All right, that is joke number two. Let's move on to joke number three. And what we're gonna do is breeze through these. I know it's happening fast. And then we'll give you some time afterwards to sort through them all. Number three, once I was with two men in one night, but I could never do it again. I could hardly walk afterward. Two dinners, that's a lot of food. But I'm... Thank you, love it. <clears throat> Helmethead says, I think you can use different sound effects every time there's a no-no word. I'll try, Justin. I'm not sure that there's too many more of those. <clears throat> all right. That joke again, once I was with two men in one night, but I could never do it again. I could hardly walk afterward. Two dinners, that's a lot of food. Yep. See, she's hinting that something else is going on, but really it's just all the food. All right. Number four. Number four. <laughs> Please don't worship me. I'm just an ordinary guy with lots of followers trying to spread my message. Sort of like Jesus Christ, I guess. But there it is. Maybe controversial that one, but the man said it, and so it's on your screen. One more time, that joke. Please don't worship me. I'm just an ordinary guy with lots of followers trying to spread my message. Sort of like Jesus Christ, I guess. Maybe a little critical of religion. <laughs> okay, take another second with that one, and then. We're gonna move on to number five. Do you ever do something and then think to yourself, that's so Raven. But I'm there it is. Ooh, you made me wait for that one. I thought I told it that badly. Uh, all right, if you don't know, that's so Raven is just a remarkable transcendent show from Disney Channel back in the day. That's what our comedian thought anyway. So once again, the joke goes like this. You ever do something and then think to yourself, it's so raven. I do, I can tell you that. And so does Raven herself. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna move on to number six. When people go through something rough in life, they say, I'm taking it one day at a time. Yeah, so is everybody, because that's how time works. Mm, love it. Who told that joke, I ask you? Again, who told that joke? All right, all right, all right. One more time. When people go through something rough in life, they say, I'm taking it one day at a time. Yeah, so is everybody, because that's how time works. Excellent. Again, you're just trying to figure out which comedian told that joke. Maybe you recognize it if you listen to a lot of comedy. Watch a lot of comedy. I don't know what people do with comedy anymore. They just use audio tapes mostly, right? <laughs> on old cassette players, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. All right, let's move on to number seven. Here it is. I went on a hardcore drinking and smoking binge. It lasted right about nine months. And then as soon as I was born, I was like, do not go in there. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harry and Joe say, oh my, I need to listen to more comedy. That's true, it might help you be funnier, Harry and Joe. <laughs> All right, number seven, one more time. I went on a hardcore drinking and smoking binge. It lasted right about nine months, and then as soon as I was born, I was like, do not go in there. <clears throat> There's the joke. The question is, who told it? Besides me, of course. If you know any of these jokes, let me know who told it better, them or me, and you better say me. All right, let's move on to number eight. 
Number eight, when I tried to hit puberty, I swung and I missed. Mm. Oh, a little play on words there. <laughs> when I tried to hit puberty, I swung and then I missed. Who told that joke? It's a big question. I'm working right now on your scores for round two. Mm. Should have them shortly. And hang in there. Let's move on to number nine in just a second. Oh, I already did it. Sorry. No, that's great. Love it. <laughs> okay, number nine. They have the greeting cards with the couples on the front. They photograph them. Easy focus people. They're always having picnics. There's always a tree, a pond. Who are these people? I don't know them. I don't want them on my card either. What am I going to write inside there anyway? Here's another couple having a better relationship than us. But hmm. hmm. Wow. Just going in on the whole concept of relationships. Yeah. Partnership. It's tough. All right. One more time, that joke. They have the greeting cards with the couples on the front. They photograph them, these hazy focused people. They're always having picnics. There's always a tree, a pond. Who are these people? I don't know them. I don't want them on my card either. What am I going to write inside there anyway? Here's another couple having a better relationship than us. Great. Leah says, LOL, in the chat. Much appreciated, Leah. Good try. <laughs> Made somebody laugh out loud tonight. You've oh, had me right. chuckling, Devin. I'm having a lovely time over here. Two people have laughed out loud, and that's why you come to trivia with Devin O'Brien. Let's do question number 10. All right. I'm completely in favor of the separation of church and state. My idea is that these two institutions screw us up enough on their own, so both of them together is certain death. But Ooh, a lot going on there to unpack. Mm -hmm. Critical. Critical of, of life, of the world, of the institutions all around us. The question is, who said it? Again, it's, I'm completely in favor of the separation of church and state. My idea is that these two institutions screw us up enough on their own. So both of them together, well, that's certain death. So there you go. You just listen to me tell 10 jokes by 10 different comedians twice each. Whew, I'm pooped. Those are all 10 jokes. What we're going to do now, I think, is wait an awkward moment while I finish up this, uh, this grading, and then I can give you a score update on round two, and then we'll run back through all these questions. So sorry to leave you waiting. I can put the music on and do a little dance, if you like. Yeah, I'm maybe sorry. let's do that for a second, Kevin. That'd be sure. lovely. I'm not sure why I suggested that. <laughs> I love that you did. <laughs> all right. Devin, how long have we got to do this for? Long time. All right, we are good to go. What's that? We're good. Oh, we're good. Great. Going back to Devin. <laughs> All right. Wow, some compliments in the chat for Kevin, and well-deserved. If you like that as much as anything else, I mean, what are we doing for you tonight? We got trivia, we got jokes, we got dancing. Leave a tip down at the bottom of this profile. It's a little PayPal account. Leave a tip for Kevin, for the dancing. Do it for that. You might get some more. All right, after two rounds, here's where we stand. B-Team had 12 points. Schoenfield with 15. Coolside with 19. Muting is hard with 20. Third place and Garth Brooks fan club with 23 each. And Bob and LJ, Kevin, Bob and LJ love Kevin and Devin also has 23 points. And then tied for the lead with 24 points each is Micro Lizard and Goat Cheese. Goat Cheese Omelette. Thank you. Goat Cheese Omelette. Sorry, I cut the name off. So again, 24 points each for Goat Cheese Omelette and Micro Lizard and Bob and LJ and Garth Brooks fan club and third place all right behind with 23 points each. It's a close one. It's gonna come down to the wire. So I know you've been working hard on round number three. I don't mean to take you away from it. Kevin, let's go back to flashing those jokes up on the screen mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit of that lovely music. And we'll be back in a minute to make you submit. 
All right. Joke's coming up on the screen. And it's music time, guys. That's ready. One, two, three. Maybe a one minute warning, Kevin? Sure thing. Back with you, Devin. All right, excellent. So let's go back to joke number one, Kevin. Sure thing. Give me one moment. All right, joke number one is up, Devin. All right, great. And again, if you haven't hit submit yet, do it now. I think we got just about everyone, but there might be one team missing. Do it now, do it now, do it now, because I'm about to read out some answers and then there's no going back. Here is number one. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. That is told by Mitch Hedberg, the great Mitch Hedberg. All right, number two. They got a character on there named Oscar. They treat this guy like the entire show. That joke is told by Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, a bunch of you got that one. Good job. Number three. Once I was with two men in one night, but I could never do it again. I could hardly walk afterwards. Two dinners, that's a lot of food. That is Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman, you all got that one. Maybe because it was a gendered joke. All right, number four. Please don't worship me. I'm just an ordinary guy with lots of followers trying to spread my message. Sort of like Jesus Christ, I guess. That is Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. A few of you got that one. Good job. That's a tough one. Number five. Number five. Do you ever do something and then think to yourself... That's so Raven. That joke is told by Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis, which again, a few of you got. Number six, 
when people go through something rough in life, they say, I'm taking it one day at a time. Yeah, so is everybody, because that's how time works. That's Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris. And number seven, I went on a hardcore drinking and smoking binge. It lasted right about nine months. And then as soon as I was born, I was like, do not go in there, is Tig Notaro. Or Notaro, I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. So apologies to Tig if I've been mispronouncing her name. Number eight, when I tried to hit puberty, I swung and I missed is by Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham. For those of you who don't know who Bo Burnham is, highly recommend. Some of you I do know know who Bo Burnham is. Number nine, they have the greeting cards with the couples on the front, and there's no way I'm reading this whole joke. You've already heard me say, read it twice. This one is by Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Number 10, I'm completely in favor of the separation of church and state. This joke is told by the man himself, George Carlin. George Carlin, a bunch of you knew that one, so good job. All right. That's it. You did it. Three rounds of trivia are in the rearview mirror. There is only one thing left to do, and that is declare a winner. I'm not ready to do it yet. I got to work on your scores. It'll take me 30 seconds. I wonder in the interim, Kevin, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit more about the streaming theater, maybe oh. what's coming up next, anything else these folks can check out by you. Sure, that's a lovely idea. Thanks, Devin. Um, yeah, so we've got loads coming up, actually. Um, you can always look at... Uh, <laughs> I just saw in the live chat somebody was just like, dance more. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll do, I'll do my... Uh, I'll tell us through interpretive dance. <laughs> okay, guys. So last <laughs> week, we had Macbeth and the witches <laughs> you can still uh, check that out on our if you click on the uh, streamingtheater.com you can look at past shows and you can go and watch macbeth which is super fun we've got the tempest coming up in a couple of weeks tempest in a couple of weeks um after that we're gonna have uh, a midsummer night's dream by the unstoppable old socks they are back a uh, midsummer night's dream And after that, we're going to have Romeo and Juliet coming up uh, in July, which is super fun. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, so we've got lots of Shakespeare coming up. I am talking to stand-up comedians as well to get some stand-ups on. Um, I'm also going to speak to some more musicians to see if we can get another gig night. If you missed the first gig night, again, just go to past shows. You can see the gig night and the musicians. Um, all the donations go, uh, and when you click those options, that money will go to those artists, and it's shared out uh, just to make sure that all artists are still trying to survive in this super tough time. Uh, we know it's a tough time for you guys as well. Uh, we're just trying to keep our coming out there. Um, all of the art on the streaming theater is always live performed rather than a pre-recording. Uh, so you're getting that live art fix right here and then. Um, do we need more dancing? How are we doing, Devin? No, like, I think we're good to go. Oh, we're good. Okay, no dancing for you guys. Yeah, we're done. No dancing. Thanks, Devin. All right, I have final scores. And how lovely is that? Before I do that, just want to plug it one more time. If you had a nice time tonight, stay in touch with the streaming theater. Maybe give us a little donate in the donate button. Board Dog is sad to see us go. I'm sad to see us go too. But without further ado, here are your final scores. Maybe Kevin for this. You might want to. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey. wait, I pressed the wrong button. There you go. I'll try again. I'll try again. Okay, here we go. Hey, good to see you. I have final scores for you today. <laughs> so with eight points coming in right at the end for just the third round is Devin's Secret. That sounds kind of scandalous. I don't know what my secret is, but I'm so glad to have you. <laughs> B-Team with 18 points. Schoenfield with 21. Poolside with 27. Muting is Hard with 28. Bob and LJ Love. Kevin and Devin, love you too. 31 points. Goat Cheese Omelette with 34. And in third place is third place with 35 points. In second place is Micro Lizard with 38. And our winner tonight with 43 points is the Garth Brooks fan club. So tonight we are all fan clubs of Garth Brooks. Let's take it back to the other screen. Good to see you again. All right, congrats <laughs> to our winners tonight. Congrats to all of you for coming out. It was so much fun to be here with you. And thank you so much to Kevin. If you're at home, just give him a round of applause from wherever you are. He'll feel it deep in his heart, I'm sure. He was wonderful and you all were for being here. Just great. Uh, I think that's all that I have. Kevin, I don't know if there's anything else you have to add, but otherwise, thank you so much. I hope to see you all again. Yeah, no, no, I, I, thank you so much, Devin, for coming on the streaming theater. Um, I, 
you know, when when we first met all that time ago, we just had such a lovely time working together, and it just means the world that uh, you came on the streaming theater and uh, and brought your amazing trivia. Uh, it's <laughs> uh, it's so good, man, and you're such a lovely man. So thank you for coming on. Oh, such a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all we've got time for uh, on the streaming theater tonight. Um, as I talked about earlier, we have so many events coming up. Um, theater companies joining us from all across the world. It's kind of crazy how the streaming theater has taken off. So, um, yeah, have a look on our events page. Have a look on our Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, we've got loads coming up. Um, I hope you join us again soon. Uh, thank you so much, Devin O'Brien, again. Uh, my name is Kevin Kemp, and this has been The Streaming Theatre. We'll hope to see you guys very, very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.